Almost a week since 17-year-old Jamisha Thomas' tragic death. Friends of the high school student told us she took her life after battling depression. She is not alone. In fact, suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States. But in order to help those who are suffering before they take their own lives, we need to open up about the conversations. So this morning, Charlie Keegan is in the studio to tell us about a new documentary that you can see tonight that addresses that topic. Good morning. Hi, Lindsay. This documentary tells the stories of people who survived suicide attempts. It allows you to hear their words and as they aim to end that taboo associated with suicide. This documentary will be in Olathe. You can watch it for free tonight. Uh, but first, we're joined by Lisa Klein, the director of this documentary. It's called The S Word. You can see it here behind us. Uh, so Lisa, can you tell me a little bit about the film and, and, uh, and the main character in this documentary? Sure. Basically, um, the, my motivation for making the film was because it's very much a passion project for me is when I was in college, both my father and my brother died by suicide. So cut to now after film school and all of that, realizing that there's just so much silence around this topic. So about four and a half years ago when I started researching, I came across Desiree, who's doing a project called Live Through This, which is interviewing attempt survivors and telling their stories. And it was sort of a similar path to what I'm doing. Right. And um, when I got in touch with her and we, we, we talked and we interviewed her, it became clear and clear, even though I started on this path from a, a place of loss, I found this thriving community of people who had attempted to take their lives and survived and are thriving. Mm -hmm. And Desiree was one of them. And it just sort of organically grew that, you know, to sort of follow her path and her to follow, you know, so mm -hmm. that's kind of how she became the central um, figure in, in the film. Although there are, you know, three Seven or four years. other people mm -hmm. who, you know, have also attempted and survived and mm -hmm. they're telling their stories as well. Fantastic. And, and Lisa, why do you think it's important that the public hear those stories? What can, what can we take away from, from knowing that there are people who have survived this and, and, uh, and want to share their story? Because so many people are currently and have been on the edge and feeling so just emotionally hurt and, and not being able to face the day and not wanting to wake up the next morning and all of that. And to hear from people who've been there rather than hearing from, yeah, that doesn't sound so good. You know, but hearing from people who have been on that edge and have taken, they're here. They've stayed and they're thriving. They're not just here and they're, you know, just kind of slogging through the day. Mm -hmm. Some people are. It is, I mean, we're pretty realistic in the film good. and it isn't like it goes away. But to know that there are resources, there are things that you can do, and just to feel less alone and to feel that there's a community and that people can, you know, people are there for you. And also for people who love somebody who's feeling, you know, who, who may be struggling, to know that you have the power to listen, to actively listen to somebody and be there for them. Yeah, there you go. This is something that impacts everyone that we can all take a part in and start that conversation, go a level deeper when we start to begin to talk about suicide. So. Uh, Absolutely. I want to let people know that this film, the, the S Word, is screening tonight. This is at 6 o'clock. You can see it at Olathe West High School. Lisa uh, and people from the mental health field, people from law enforcement will all be on hand to answer questions afterwards. They have this panel discussion. Lisa says, told me that that is her favorite part of the, uh, of the, um, of the evening. So you can hear from her and, and other people. And all of this is free. And we also put some resources about suicide prevention and about this documentary specifically up on our website so you can access all that by visiting kshb.com.